Hey everyone, John here. Uh, today we're going to look at the basics of using a tripod for landscape photography. Um, so there's a few different ways that you can set this up, um, different extensions of the legs and, and all sorts of stuff. So we'll cover a bunch of different situations. Uh, just sit back and enjoy the show. Okay, so I'm using an aluminum tripod here, a Manfrotto 190X Pro B tripod. Um, it's a pretty good basic entry-level tripod um, and it's served me well ever since I got it so I I'd highly recommend it. I also have a very basic ball head here which allows me to frame the shot in many different ways. Pretty good cost um, so it's great if you're just getting started. Um, using a tripod you want to make sure that when you're going for height you extend your tripod using the uh, widest legs first, your, your first extension and then as you need more height, you would extend the, the smaller legs. And if you have a four section tripod, you would then extend your next set of legs out. Um, the reason for this is as you're extending your legs, you wanna have the widest ones kind of support your tripod a lot. One thing to keep in mind is that a lot of people will actually, to get just a little extra height rather than extending their tripod legs, all three of them, just a little bit more, what they'll do is they'll try and just get just a little bit more height out of the tripod by extending out their center column. And this is actually not really the best idea because this column isn't actually as stable as uh, extending all three of your tripod legs out. You get a lot more support doing it that way. So only extend your center column if it's kind of a last resort and all of your legs are at their full extension already. Okay, so one of the cool things about these tripods is that each leg can be obviously extended independently of each other and they also have the ability to be positioned uh, relative to each other in different ways. So in this particular setup you can see that I have this leg here uh, on the left hand side of the camera extended to its complete fullness and pulled out a little bit further allowing me to have a shorter leg on the right hand side and then an even shorter one here on the rock in front of it allowing for a very stable and very um, vertically oriented camera here, which allows me to have full control over where I want my camera to be positioned, whether I want to go with a um, portrait orientation, landscape orientation, or um, pan around in the general area. Okay, and so finally I have the tripod set up in kind of a different position here. What I've done is I've pulled the center column out. Um, not every tripod is going to have this ability, uh, but the Manfrotto tripod does a pretty good job at getting down right to the ground uh, by allowing you to pull the tripod the center column out. And you can see right now it is actually perpendicular to the ground rather than being vertical. And I have the ability to slide it out and kind of go all the way around, which is really nice if you want to do uh, very interesting low angle perspectives so uh, it's something to try and 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 test out if you have the ability if not um, most tripods can get pretty low so always remember to consider that low perspective okay so now i just want to take a look at a common way that a tripod can be set up incorrectly even though you might not think it is so here i have my tripod set up and what the big thing that's wrong with this setup is that our center column is actually kind of off kilter a little bit. Um, you can see I'm set up on this uh, fairly steep hill and I'm shooting down in this direction here. And having the tripod center column angled in such a way uh, kind of takes the center of gravity of your tripod and shifts it downhill a little bit, which can cause your tripod to fall over a little easier or just make it a little more unstable when you're shooting long exposures. Uh, to quickly fix this, if, you, if you're in a situation where your center column's off kilter, you can just adjust your legs accordingly to get your center column back to a vertical position. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right here, simply by shortening up this leg in the back, and then shortening this leg in the front here. And with just those two very quick movements, my center column is now nice and vertical, which gives me a nice stable platform to shoot on. This is much better than trying to just adjust your ball head to get a level shot. 
So I hope that this video has really helped you learn how to set up a tripod. If you have any questions, you can comment below. And of course, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'll see you again soon.